it's not my favorite card. Throw it in C tier, that's where it is. If, if you like this card a little bit more, sure. It's just not my thing by any stretch. You look lonely. We're officially only two weeks away from the release of TCG Pocket and the first set that will ever come out on the app, Genetic Apex. And to be honest, I'm actually really excited for this thing. I don't know how I feel about the whole app side of it and you know all of that but regardless i think it's easy to say that the artworks that they've made for this set some of the best artworks we've seen in the past few years like there is actually some insane artworks in this like why can we not get these artworks in real life people but today i'm going to be making a tier list of the artworks this is honestly probably going to be one of the hardest tier lists i've ever made just because these artworks are actually stupid insane like i also have pokey beach pulled up over here just in case we need to like click on any cards and see them better like but th this card alone the Mewtwo EX, like that is it. Could you, could you imagine this card in real life? But I threw this tier list together. I put like all the best artworks from the set. So basically all the hit cards aside from just like plain EX cards and even the plain EX are pretty cool. But we are just focused on the insane artworks today. So without further ado, let's rank some of these puppies starting off with the Bulbasaur. Bro, this is the weird thing about when sets come out because I always compare them. I feel like everybody does this. This is also like why prices are the way they are in certain sets like I've, I've talked about it before but like like let's take the zapdos special illustration rare from pokemon 151 for example i think the price of that card is currently sitting around 30 ish dollars and it's it's that low because there's so many other cards in the set of 151 that are priced insanely high whereas if you put that zapdos in a set like stellar crown i think the price would be way higher on it because it's relative to that set so that that's what i want to say about bulbasaur here is that like I'm going to keep it relative to this set because if this was in a different set, I love this card. I love the artwork, but when we're looking at Genetic Apex, it's not one of the top dogs in this set. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stick that Bulba in C tier. These are subject to change throughout the video. Uh, next up, we got Gloom. Dude, I, this is why I have Poke Beach pulled up so I can see the cards a little closer. I didn't even notice all these details. Like, you got a Pidgey up here. You got Psyduck running in the background. The Gratata back here behind the bushes. That's pretty cool. Just because the cameos from the other Pokemon, I'm going to toss it in C tier. What is that coming out of Gloom's mouth, though? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Next up, we have the Pinsir. I feel like we're starting off a little slow with the artworks, and even some of these are crazy i don't know just honestly not a huge fan of pincer myself so we're, we're gonna go with d or d tier d tier for the artwork on the pincer come on somebody at the pokemon company whoever made this artwork said let me cook look at this this is probably like my favorite part of the card right here is the glow like the attention to detail on this card like even in the sky how clearly you can see all the stars up here in the and I, I love the colors of the blue and the green and then the orange reddish glow right in the middle let's call it what it is people this is probably one of the best charmander cards i've ever seen in my entire life and it's just going to be on a game but it's still a piece of artwork in my opinion at least and that's a that's that's got to be a top five artwork for charmander of all time i'm pretty strict with s tier but uh, okay, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll go A tier for now. But that one, that's a very close S tier. All right, Rapidash. It's a beautiful artwork, but there's, you know, not a ton of detail going on in the background. We're going to go B tier on the Rapidasher. Squirty Boy. I do like the Squirtle. I definitely like this one better than the Bulbasaur, but I don't like this one as much as the Charmander. Solid B tier. Solid B tier. All right, we got the Gary Boy up next. Honestly, one of my favorite cards from this set and guys if you don't know much about genetic apex i did release a video like the whole kind of some more information about the whole tcg pocket app when it releases like all that good stuff i'll definitely be giving it a try when it comes out and hopefully doing some videos on it but we got the gary boy the big shrimp taking out the freaking titanic back here just fucking up this carpy carp about to obliterate something with a hyper beam bro they cooked they cooked on these artworks why 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 do we not get this in real life? This is an easy A tier again. It's close to an S. I just, I know that we're coming up on crazy, crazy artworks later in this set. So I don't want to start throwing stuff in an S really early. Up next, we got the Lapras with the surfing Pikachu in the background. That's a, re it's really, that's a really cool small detail of the Pikachu back here. Strong, very strong B tier. Out of the B tier so far, the Lapras is honestly probably my favorite. It's cool. I think it would 
Oh, I just saw this too. Bro, they're cooking on these little hidden cameos. There's a freaking Zapdos up here that you can like see through the window. That's sick. Still not my favorite artwork in the whole set, but it's a, it's a C. It's a C tier. Alakazam might be a hot take. Okay, Alakazam might be a hot take. And y'all can let me know how you feel through the comments. You know, everybody is entitled to their own opinions. Um, I'm a huge fan of Alakazam as a Pokemon. I think I feel like this is more of like a fighting type anime almost artwork, which probably makes a lot of y'all think this card is 10 times cooler now. Just not a huge fan. Of it, and like the colors on it, just not a huge fan of like the... You know, you get like the green and the blues and, you know, there's a lot of really, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Just not a huge fan of this artwork. I, I would go C tier, especially when compared to this set. Not the best. We got the slow poke up next. And it, although this card is really cool, there's something that makes it way cooler. If you take this little square that I'm making around the slow poke, um, that is the original artwork from, is it fossil or is it jungle? I want to say it's fossil. Don't flame me if it's not fossil. <laughs> unbelievable but yeah it's like an so this card is like an extended artwork of that original one which i think makes this one really cool without the story behind it i'd probably go c but with the story i think it's a really strong b tier we got diglett this is actually a really cool artwork i know diglett isn't like you know everybody's favorite pokemon or something even though i carry a diglett around on me every day when I... <laughs> pause pause <laughs> pause on that one but this is really cool i like how you got like a diglet over here uh they're doing their thing underground this like crystals are really cool this one's like holy shit we just found crystals it's meth <laughs> it's a c tier i do like the artwork but it it's it's a c tier come on people oh this cubone is literally standing on business bruh look at him he mean dude yeah this one's like the king of the cubones over here i've always been a really big fan of cubone and marowak especially alolan marowak that thing is so cool all right we'll keep it non-biased though i'm going b tier i wanted to put it in an a because cubone but we'll go b tier on the actual artwork itself really cool really cutesy but not for me c tier gloom has to come down to d tier gloom has to come down to d tier again it's cool it now nah, I, I like the i like the prior one better actually uh we're gonna go d tier on that one not a huge fan of that one Ooh, the gold bat is next i love this one this one looks like uh hold on i have it. the line from paldea evolved of these guys this is what the gold bat really looks like to me and i freaking i love these artworks so much the great artworks do we put this one in s tier i i love this one it's still not a s it's still not a s but it is an a tier really like that card we have the wheezing in the city this honestly looks like something we would get in a set today that's just kind of mid that's gonna go in d tier that's the thing about genetic apex it's like most of these artworks look better than the artworks we're getting in most sets today and we and we haven't even got to the craziest stuff yet which is why we don't have it there will definitely be s tiers by the end of this all right we have the dragonite flying over the water with ships in the background and the stars going through this 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 artwork is freaking beautiful that is an easy, easy A. We're moving Golbat down one. I, I love the Golbat, don't get me wrong. It's just these three artworks up here in A tier right now, they're they're on a different level. All right, we got the Pidgeot carrying the Carp. Dude, Magikarp is just getting fucked over on all these cards. Like, first Gyarados was messing up Magikarp. Now we got Pidgeot messing up Magikarp. Yo, let my boy Magikarp get some love, bro. This one's really cool, though. Strong B tier. Meowth in the city. Dude, is this a piece of artwork? I, I said this in the last video, and... I I don't know, like, like I'm talking about like a real famous painting or something. I feel like I've seen this before, like this night sky with this type of art around the moon. Either way, this is honestly one of my favorite cards. I really like the Meowth. I'm not even a huge fan of Meowth. That's going A tier easily. This Ditto card is really cool specifically because like on the leaves and stuff, there's Ditto faces, like a Ditto face down here on this leaf, on the pink leaf. You got the, this Caterpie up here is a Ditto. Like that's really cool. But the artwork in general, not a huge fan of, but because like that little, I guess, Easter egg, you could call it, we'll put in C tier. <sighs> Don't even get me started on this damn Eevee. I am so sick of the Eevee slurp. The Eevee glaze is insane, people. Okay, I do like this one because of the three stones up here, like Eevee's trying to be Thanos or something right now. But the Eevee and Stellar Crown is freaking ridiculous. The price of that card is ridiculous, okay? It's the same exact artwork as the damn Mimikyu promo from the Paladin Fates ETB. And that card is getting so much more love just because it's Eevee. And you cannot tell me I'm wrong about that, okay? It's only because it's Eevee and the price is going stupid. Nobody gave one solid shit 
when it was freaking Mimikyu. Okay, they're like, eh, the promo looks kind of cool. It's okay. Then you put Eevee on the exact same artwork, the same style artwork, everything. Everybody loses their minds. And this this artwork looks exactly like that, aside from the stones. The stones are kind of cool. But yeah, this that's a C tier at best. At best, the Eevee is a C tier. I like the Porygon. I feel like Porygon always has some pretty cool artworks, but never gets a lot of love. But it's... It, uh, yeah, we'll go C tier. C tier on the Porygon. All right, we got Snorlax chilling. Oh, my sweet grape is featured. We got an Oddish in the top right. I don't know. I like the cameos of the other Pokemon, but honestly, it's one of my least favorites I've seen so far. I know Snorlax is a pretty popular Pokemon as well, but uh, it's a D tier. All right, now we are getting into some of the craziest of the crazy artworks, people. We have the Moltres burning up the skies. Machop and Machamp down here. I mean, this is gorgeous. Even how the flames kind of like turn to this purple and then the borders, I feel like, look really good on this card. We have our first S tier of the video going to Moltres. Well deserved. We have Articuno EX in a storm. What is this? Is this a Kingdra? Is that fully evolved down there? If not, EDP is going to touch that thing. Arti I really like the Articuno, but I feel like it's not as detailed as the Moltres. I actually probably like Articuno as a bird better. We're going A tier on the Articuno. Might possibly be my f number one favorite card in the set. Zapdos is my favorite bird, but I'm not even biased. This artwork is just absolutely insane. I don't know what the fuck Ekans did to piss off this Zapdos, but he is just pouring rain of lightning down. Right in front of Ek Ekans, like, oh shit, dude. Dude, it ain't that deep, dude. That's what she said. Damn it. Wanna... I've got to I've got to stop today, people. Alright. <laughs> Let's keep it going. The Zapdos EXO. I do. I really love this artwork. That is the easiest S tier of the video so far. We got the Gengar EX. Uh, I'm gonna get hate on. Clutch is gonna kill me for this one. A lot of Gengar fans probably watching about to kill me. I like it. I, I think the artwork is cool. I think it I think the artwork also goes well with Gengar. It's more of like a spooky type darker artwork, which is cool. Uh, the colorways are cool as well, like the pink, purple, black. But again, I would just love to see like a really detailed, realistic version of like the Zapdos uh, that we just looked at. Like a realistic version of Gengar doing something just really creepy. For that reason, I'm going B tier. B tier on the Gengar. This Machamp, it's got the same exact artwork of the Alakazam. I honestly probably like this one even less because I, I feel like the rainbow border just doesn't go with this one at all. Pretty solid hot take as well, but we're going D tier on that Machamp card. Wiggly Tough. I like it. I like this one. Nothing too special. Again, this one also feels like, you know, maybe an actual SIR or an illustration rare that we would get in real life. It's a solid B tier. We have the Charizard. This one is... It's, I mean, the, we have the Tren Charizard. Let me correct myself. This this guy does Tren for sure. It's not doing it for me. It's definitely not an S tier. It's given me more of the it's given me more of the vibes of the promo from the UPC or the Mewtwo from Crown Zenith. And I think both of those are actually cooler than this card. I like the blue backgrounds and stuff. It definitely makes Charizard pop. But honestly, that's a B tier. The Charizard is a B tier. All right, we got the Pikachu with the Butterfreeze back here. I like it. I definitely like this better than the Surging Sparks SIR Pikachu that we're getting. This one is a thousand times better in my opinion, but it's still not an S tier card. Honestly, it, I would go B tier on the Pikachu as well. I think the Moltres and Zapdos are like 10 times better. All right, we have Mewtwo EX, my boy, my boy. And I really love the immersive thing about these cards. So the Charizard card does it, I believe, the Pikachu, this one. Um, they have like this immersive effect where you can like go into the scene and look behind Mewtwo. I put it in that last video I did uh, showing off the Mewtwo, which is really, really cool. And I love this artwork of like, finally we get to see Mewtwo in some type of like action, I guess. And I like the purple eyes and stuff. I don't know if it's just because I'm so biased on Mewtwo cards that like I need, I just want one that's perfect i just want one that's what i'm imagining and i feel like it's not that hard just you know have them destroying something with a ball with some purple glow on there or like breaking out of a lab or and i know that's kind of what he's doing here but you don't really see the lab i don't know i'm probably like complaining about the card he also looks very play-doh-y on this card if that makes sense like so it's it's not my favorite i'm between a and b tier on this card i'd probably still go a on it I'd probably still, no, no, it's got to be a B tier. 
I gotta be honest, that Mewtwo, it's a B tier card. Now we have the Mew. This one's trash. Call it what it is. It's kind of trash. Just compared to some of the other cards. We still have like some crazy full arts and stuff to go through. I wouldn't say this is a D tier, but I'm putting the Mew in C tier. Honestly, I like the, the rainbow border cards in this set. I like a lot better than like the Charizard, Pika, Mewtwo, and Mew we just looked at, which I think are the top four cards in the set that you can get, like the rarest. And now we have some of our full arts. And I know like typically I probably wouldn't have ranked these, but some of these full arts are so insanely beautiful. Like the full arts might rank above a lot of these for me. The Venusaur EX, stunning, stunning. That's just such an easy A right there. I love this colorway. On the ex Executor, the green to the blue to the yellow, it looks great. A tier, B tier. I'm going B tier. I like the Venusaur a little bit better. The Charizard EX. Look, I put the other Charizard in B tier. Okay, people? I'm not a, you know, huge Charizard Glazer. This is an S tier card. That's an S tier freaking full art right there. That's crazy. The colorways look so good. Arcanine EX. God, these are beautiful, dude. I gotta be honest. I like the dark, the, the, the more dark red, dark gold colors behind them really makes Arcanine pop here. That's an easy, easy A tier. Moltres, freaking beautiful. We got some, this looks like candy apple red down here at the bottom. We'll go B tier, B tier on that one. I really, I really like these full arts. This one, this one a little less. I feel like Blastoise is taking up a lot of the, you know, you're not getting as much as the beautiful background on this one. We'll go C tier on the Blastoise. Starmie. God, this is gorgeous. The gold, the red with this teal background. These cards are so freaking good. A tier on the Starmie. The Pikachu, I like it, but Pikachu isn't like shipopping off the card for me. That's the only reason I'm putting it in B. Otherwise, it would be A. I love it. I like the Zapdos so much. The, the freaking lightning on Zapdos card just makes it look so cool. A tier on the Zapdos. We got Gengar. I'm not going to lie. Gengar has failed me. Gengar failed me on this full art. I do not like this background color whatsoever with the Gengar. Now, I'm not a Gengar. I'm like a fucking D1 Gengar hater in this video. I love Gengar. Gengar is probably in like my top 20 Pokemon. I do, I will say, I really like the gold outline on bro's teeth. Like that looks pretty sick, but the, the, the background is just not doing it. Gengar, C tier. Mewtwo, okay. This is, you know, we're just gonna move past this one quick because y'all are probably just gonna say it's biased, but that artwork is so good. Easy S tier. Machamp EX, not feeling it. Not feeling the Machampo. We're going uh, C tier on the Machamper. And the Marowak. Again, I love this. You almost got the same, like, a low, uh, uh, yeah, the Executor. You almost have the same background. But I feel like the background looked a lot better on the Executor than it does with Marowak. Although I like Marowak a lot better as a Pokemon, I feel like these colors aren't going the same. So we're going to go C on the Marowak. And I believe our last full art card, yeah, this looks great. The pink with the Wigglytuff looks great. It's like pink and purple. It looks really good. Honestly, honestly, just on the colors and stuff, I'd go A tier on that. Now, we have Erica. Honestly, i go D tier on Erica. Y'all are going to kill me. Misty, I like this one. The orange hair with the blue and the swirly. Th this is a this is a great looking card right here. i go A tier. i go A tier on the Misty. Blaine, it's not a waifu, so, I mean, D tier. Pfft, come on. Koga, I like the background. I like the background. But we'll go C tier on it. I'm moving now. Giovanni, I really like this one. Now, this this background is freaking sick with the red. Ah, and the the, the, the colors. The colors, people. They're just shipopping. I'm going A tier on the Giovanni. The Brock. Brock is mid. It's very mid. But we're going B tier on Brock. Sabrina, this goes stupid. If we're putting one single... Let's do that. Let's put one trainer has to go to S tier. So it's between Sabrina, Misty, and Giovanni, who those two are in A tier right now. Honestly, I'm probably going Sabrina. I'm probably going Sabrina as S. No, I feel like that's stupid. We don't need to put one in S tier. It, it would be an A tier with the other two. This one, super mid. Super mid. That's solid C tier. So the Charizard, the Pikachu, and the Mewtwo for our gold cards. I guess you would put them all in the same. I don't even know why I added these to the list. Probably put them all in A tier. I like the golds. They look pretty cool. One final look at our list and see if there's anything I want to change. S tier cards. I'm, I'm bringing Charmander up and I'm bringing Meowth up. I, I don't know why. I really like that Meowth. I like the artwork on it a lot. Gengar, I will actually bring up one. I, I That Gengar is growing on me. We'll put it as a strong A tier. So as you can see on screen, that is our final list of the tier list for tcg pocket genetic apex again those are relative because a lot of these artworks like the Golbat, for example and b tier 
You put that in any real set today, that's an S tier card easily. I feel like I had to be pretty harsh with some of these ratings just based on the relative set. But the, the artworks look great, man. I'm pretty excited for it. We'll see what happens with it. Let me know what you would change or let me know what you agree with with this list. But Two Tire Tuesdays hopefully will be returning next week. Oh, yeah. New Juice World song. Play that at the end of this. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. All I care about is money, honey. I don't love for it. Hey, new girl, I can't wait till. Bitches, I won't wait for you.